Hi, welcome back to Stocking Feet ASMR. Thank you so much for joining me, and for those of you who have followed me, I appreciate your patience with me as I take, as I come back from taking a long hiatus. <laughs> so we are back, and I am excited for you to join me as I paint my toenails today. So let's get right into it. So I have neglected to paint my toenails for a while, but in preparation for painting my nails, I've already filed and trimmed my cuticles and just prepped in general, exfoliated, and prepared my feet as best I can for my pedicure because I really appreciate painting my nails on freshly prepped, prepped nails. So thank you so much for joining me and let's get started. I am going to share my products with you first. The first product that I love is this bond. It's called ProBond, and it is a way to um, dry out the nail so that the polish kind of sticks better and your manicure lasts longer. And then I have three nail polishes. They're Model, own, model Ones. Um, brand. It's uh, just an Amazon brand, actually. <laughs> um, but I actually really like this nail polish. It's um, really reasonably priced, and I feel like their colors are fun. I also like having a smaller nail polish to choose from because I think that polish generally, I think, doesn't last forever. And this way, I'm utilizing more of the polish before it goes bad. And then for my base and top coat, I'm using Beatles brand. And I've actually found this is kind of nice. I don't mind this brand at all for a base and top coat and I've also tried their polishes and been very happy. So I am doing a gel pedicure and so I will be um, curing my nails using an LED lamp. So let's get started. I'm hoping the camera angle works well for this pedicure. I'm going to start and film the pedicure on my right foot today so that um, it's a little more timely and I think the camera angle will work nicely. So uh, my nails are clean and dry and so I can start. First, I'm going to do the bond. Then 
This has a strong smell, but I do really like the way that it dries out my nail. My nails, I should say, for I think kind of an excellent bond. This is kind of a fun camera angle, I hope. Okay, and then I will do a base coat. I'm super picky with my nails. And so while I love going in and getting a pedicure to pamper myself, sometimes I'm too picky to kind of fully enjoy the experience. There. Okay. Oopsie daisies. Okay, I will prep put this in for oopsies. Sixty seconds. Oh I don't have it plugged in. <laughs> there we go. I like to cure it for 60 seconds. While I'm doing that, I will actually paint my other nails. So first we'll put down this prep. See how this goes? With the bond, you don't have to be careful. It's just about kind of like loosely covering the nail. It's not it doesn't um, affect your manicure or your pedicure if you get a little bit on your skin or anything like that. It's not kind of like your typical polish where you really want to stay away from your skin. And then I will also do the base coat on this, on these toes as well. I'm going to take these toes out just so I have better access. When I'm applying a base coat, my main thought is to just stay away from my skin and to provide just a light layer of polish for the other color to stick to. Okay, so I have three polish color options that I will share with you. This first one is a bright blue, kind of a nice sky blue color. I feel like it reminds me of like pool water. <laughs> Next is a nice teal. I think this is an excellent summer color as well. This is a just a really basic nice teal. It's not quite Tiffany's Robin's egg blue, but it's actually it's pretty pretty nice. And then the last option I have is lavender, which also is a pretty a pretty color though it's coming out on film looking a tinge gray which I actually do really like um, but out of the three options I am going to choose the blue that's my favorite pedicure color for the summer okay let's do our first coat With my first coat, my goal is just to cover the middle basic part of the nail and not worry about my edge lines being super close to the cuticles or 
really, really careful. My goal is just to kind of get the color down on the middle of the nail. And I like to fix a little bit as I go versus curing it and having it the colors set. Okay. The first coat is on foot one. Okay, let's go for round two. actually going to paint it up here even though I do agree that this is probably not the best for filming purposes. This is my first time filming a nail video and I think there will be a lot to learn. In terms of camera placement, I know that this is not 100% ideal. but I will improve. I watched a YouTube video today, or it was actually a TikTok, I'm sorry, and the content creator said that if you're going to put out, that a creator can put out 20 videos or 100 videos, but the creator that puts out 100 is learning five times that of the creator that's putting out 20, aiming for perfection. And so that's, I guess, kind of my school of thought is that I am, you know, just going to kind of go with it and just see, see where, see how it goes. Okay, so as you can see, the color is great, but I think that we can definitely get tighter lines. And so I make cuticles, and so we will do that. I hope everyone's having a really nice spring. I feel like that's kind of, I missed the entire spring on YouTube. Um, so I hope everyone is having a nice spring and that you have found relaxation and time for yourself and just general peace and good health and all of the things that we need to have in order to just function better in life and society. I think I had a nice time away and I think it's hard to step away from things and then jump back in because if you get out of your routine, even if it's something you enjoy, it just literally doesn't matter. If you get out of your routine, I think it's so easy to just kind of like stop doing what your routine was. And so I stopped doing my videos and then therefore I kind of stopped making them and then I didn't get it back into it fast, as fast as I should have. Um, but I've been really enjoying reading the comments and just like kind of thinking about the direction I want my channel to go and about you guys on the, in this community. Are you people? I am saying guys as a kind of in a flippant way, I guess. I'm meaning people, you, all of you subscribers out there. Or just people who are passing by. If you have not subscribed, 
that's okay too. Though, you know, if you do subscribe, that's kind of a nice option. Okay, so now my nails are really tidy. I think fairly tidy. I mean, is this my all-time best pedicure of my life? I don't think so, but it's okay. Let's give it a go. Cure it. And then we'll do these toes. I haven't had my nails painted in a couple of weeks and it really bothers me when my nails are not painted. I just like having toenail polish on. It just makes me feel a lot more tidy and a lot more put together and like kind of almost no matter what my situation is with what I'm wearing or doing it kind of makes me feel like I've put some effort into my appearance and taken just like a tiny bit of time for myself and I just like that feeling there was a time in my life where I wouldn't have even imagined that I would ever not have my nails done <laughs> That is not this time, but hopefully I can get back into this proper polish situation. So now it is for time for the top coat. This just sets in the polish, helps it stay nicer, longer. And so we will give that a nice sweep over and again I try not to make this too thick I also try and stay away from the edges too aggressively I hope you guys have enjoyed this different video of watching me do my nails <laughs> I'm not 100% sure that this is going to be people's preference but I hope that it was an enjoyable time for you to take away from your busy lives and that you were able to just kind of zone out or focus on something that's simple and not you know terribly important, just relaxing you time. So I hope that that is what you're able to gain from this video. It's just time to relax and do what you need to do for you. If you like the idea behind this video, I would love it if you would let me know. And if you think, oh, I like this, but it, the camera angle is bad, or the camera angle is great, just, you know, any improvements I can make to this type of video, I would appreciate it. So, the last thing I do is I take nail polish remover, and I just swipe over the top of this gel polish, it helps it be less sticky. I think there's a specific product you can use for this, but I think nail polish remover works really well. And it just kind of makes it so that I can right away do whatever I need to do in order to, but yet my nails are still like perfectly hardened and I don't have to worry about them getting smudged. Thank you all so much for being here. Let's take a look. We'll do one more swipe on these nails. 
Thank you for your time. Thank you for just being here. So I will see you again soon. I promise no more long breaks. And I will see you again in the future. I hope you like my pretty blue nails. Have a good night. Bye.